Hey guys, it's Andy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this awesome miniature wooden ballista catapult. Nice. Now, I have done a ballista in the past, however that one was powered by a rubber band. This one's staying more true to an actual ballista, as it's powered purely by the tension of rope. I began by taking two large lolly sticks and drilling holes an inch from each end. Once the four outer holes were done, I then created four smaller inner holes like so. You need to make sure the inner holes are wide enough to squeeze through a cocktail skewer. I then chopped out two small equally sized blocks of wood and glued them to the end of one of the lolly sticks. I glued the other stick on top of them, making sure the holes line up. I then cut off the end from another lolly stick and glued down some chopped down cocktail skewers to each side. There we go. This was then glued in between the centre of the lolly sticks like so. Next I chopped down two smaller equally sized lolly sticks and created a hole at each of the ends. The next step was to insert a loop of string in between the larger holes. With the help of a cocktail skewer, I pushed the string through the two holes and then pushed it back in on itself as shown. I then used a small piece of cocktail skewer to stop the string going back through the hole. Then another piece of skewer was tied underneath. You can now see the loop of string is suspended between the two sticks. I then inserted one of the smaller lolly sticks in between the loop of string. I twisted the skewers to tighten up the string. Another skewer was then inserted into the inner holes. This will hold the tension that's created in the twisted string. I then did the exact same thing on the other side. Once that was done I glued a wooden block to the rear end. I then tied a length of string between both of the arms. There we go. Then using a chopped down peg and some pieces of lolly stick I made a slider that will launch the projectiles. Once that was done, I drilled two 45 degree angle holes in a slightly longer block of wood. The holes were wide enough to fit in these two wooden dowels. This was then glued underneath the front of the catapult to create a stand. Next, I glued two spacer pieces of wood to the block at the back. There we go. Two chopped down lolly sticks with holes were then stuck to the back. This creates a slot for the launch pin. I then bent a piece of metal and used some string to create a launch pin. And now we're ready to go. As you can see the tension from the twisted up string pulls the wooden launcher. A chopped down cocktail skewer is used for ammunition and away we go. Careful now. So there we have it. How to make a miniature wooden ballista catapult. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. The links are down below. And other than that, I'll see you next time.